Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shri Vanilla. Today's topic is Chronic Granulomatous Inflammation. Chronic granulomatous inflammation is a prolonged inflammatory process with simultaneous tissue destruction and formation of characteristic granulomas. A granuloma is a circumscribed tiny lesion about 1 mm in diameter composed predominantly of collection of modified macrophages called epithelioid cells and rimmed at the periphery by lymphoid cells. Classification It is classified into bacterial, fungal, parasitic and miscellaneous. Bacterial Tuberculosis, Leprosy, Syphilis, Granuloma inguinale, Brucellosis, Cat Scratch Disease, tular uh, Tularemia, Glanders, Fungal, Actinomycosis, Blastomycosis, Cryptococcosis, Cochidioidiomycosis, Parasitic, Cystosomiasis, Miscellaneous, Sarcoidosis, Crohn's Disease, Silicosis, Berylliosis, Foreign Body Granuloma, Pathogenesis, Pathogenesis of the chronic granulomatous inflammation is as follows. Injury followed by failure to digest the etiological agent, followed by weak acute inflammatory response, followed by persistence of etiological agent leading to T-cell mediate immune response or poorly digested etiological agent, followed by activation of T-cells monocyte chemotactic factor growth factor, followed by recruitment of uh, circulating monocytes, proliferation of tissue macrophages, followed by accumulation of tissue macrophages, followed by transform to epithelioid cells and uh, Jane cells, leading to formation of granuloma. Morphology Granulomatous inflammation is characterized by presence of following mononuclear cell infiltration, epithelioid cells, Jane cells, necrosis, fibrosis. Mononuclear cell infiltration the lesion is infiltrated by the mononuclear inflammatory cells like phagocytes and lymphoid cells. The phagocytes are circulating monocytes and tissue macrophages. The macrophages are the most important cells in chronic inflammation. These cells release several biologically active substances like acid and neutral proteases, oxygen derived reactive metabolites and cytokines which bring about tissue destruction, neovascularization and fibrosis. Epithelioid cells. These are the modified macrophages and are so called because of the epithelial cell like appearance. They are elongated, have pale staining abundant cytoplasm and lightly staining slipper shaped nucleus. Jane cells. These are formed due to fusion of adjacent epithelioid cells. They have 20 or more nuclei which may be arranged at the periphery like horseshoe or ring or clustered at the two poles Langen's type or they may be present centrally foreign body Jain cell. The Langen's type seen mostly in tuberculosis and foreign body Jain cell in foreign body tissue reaction. They have weak phagocytic activity but their main function is secretion of certain substances which help to clear the etiological agent. Necrosis. Necrosis is an important feature in some granulomatous infections. Central cessation necrosis is characteristic of tuberculosis. Fibrosis. This is due to proliferation of fibroblasts at the periphery of granuloma. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.